first and foremost, I want to apologize because I did warn you that it was going to be short little videos <laughs> until the new year. I've been uploading for the last 26... I, I lost count the last like 26 days, oh my gosh. <laughs> Ooh, what is up guys? We're continuing and going right into the new year. I did pre-warn you guys <laughs> that they may be short, uh, unstructured videos and I'm running out of time today. So, I attempted, I attempted to get something cool that I could show you guys and have a treat yourself day for the first time I've been out in a long time. I fell short, I fell short, but I got something cool, I got something cool. So, I was like, you know what? I'm going to get myself some Gundams today. <laughs> and I went out to my local hobby town. I had three things. Just in case one of them wasn't there, I had three things I wanted to get. First and foremost, that PG Zeta has been sitting on the shelf at my hobby town for, I swear, like three months now. And it was gone. Gone, wasn't there, could not get the PG Zeta. <sighs> I was like, oh, okay, that's fine. Next thing was kind of a long shot, but I was like, okay, do you guys have the PG Unleashed? And they're like, it should be coming any day now. So I might be getting the PG Unleashed, but we have to wait a bit. So I fell short on that. <sighs> I'm gonna check back tomorrow. Then, then I was like, oh, you know what? We have had the MG Wing Verka like in abundance. Like literally they get six, seven, eight, nine at a time. All of them were gone and to add insult to injury on our Facebook page, everyone's like, look, my family came in in the clutch. So no wing verka for me today. But <laughs> I did not come out empty handed. Oh, all the paints were gone too. All the paints, everything hobby related, everything was gone. It's wiped out. And it sucks because there's something about walking into a physical store and looking at everything, paints, everything that I wanted, gone. I even looked for a new airbrush, gone, sold out. So I'm gonna have to wait for that to happen. But <laughs> what I did find today, I went to another store that I started going to fairly frequently and it has a massive, awesome paint collection. Some of the best paint selection I've seen in a long time and <sighs> While they did not have paint that I wanted, <laughs> I came back with these. These bad boys right here, $6.99. Now, what are these? I am sure if you guys paint, you know what they are. They are agitator balls that you put inside of your paint and you shake it so you can agitate your custom made paints, put it inside of bottles, balls, whatever, da 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 da. I also bought a bunch of bottles. This, now I know, I know, whatever. They are pearlescent. Literally match my car's paint job. And they're really cool. DRTabletop.com. Why are these babies so special? It's because up until now, for agitator balls, I have been basically, I have been finishing nail polish bottles and taking out the agitator balls that come in nail polish bottles and I collected them and <laughs> that's what I've been using. They're really small, they work. It's like one of my favorite little tips to tell people. So if you guys have like a lady in your life or someone you know who does their nails fairly frequently, there, there's, a, there's, a, there's a little free tip. Tell them not to throw out their nail polishes when they're done. Or if they have nail polish that they're never using, uh, just put some acetone in there and you got free <laughs> agitator balls for your paint. <laughs> It's so random. I'm used to seeing these kind of being uh, the army painter ones that come in hundreds. This is, comes in a 50 pack and they're literally pearlescent white. So I'm looking forward to actually using like official paint agitator balls instead of my nail polish balls. So like I said, they're free. They're pretty small, but they work just as well. They're gonna come in different sizes, but I figure if you know somebody who's just throwing these away, why waste them? I don't know, that's my little Gunpla tutorial tip. <laughs> I don't think anyone really thinks about it, but like, they're just agitator balls that you would never think of, and most of the time girls have old nail polish that they're never gonna use again, and then they just throw the whole bottle away and you lose two perfectly good agitator balls, and I just feel like no one talks about that enough. <laughs> but yeah, I just feel like that's one of the little things that maybe someone wouldn't think about. And if you're on a budget, it wouldn't really hurt to go ahead and try to use nail, ah! <gasps> No. I just feel like that's something that a lot of people don't think about. There is a massive size difference on them. 
So obviously, I don't know, if you can save money somewhere, they're not too expensive if you just wanna buy like a pack of 100. I mean, these aren't that expensive, but if you just happen to have nail polish bottles hanging around that no one's using, and you can save yourself $6.99 to $9.99 for 100. I didn't promise quality for the end, <laughs> for the end of Mobile Suit Mist slash my December upload. <laughs> I did, however, find this little dude. He is gun tank, he is not a converge. He kind of feels like an eraser. I found him in Hobby Lobby, but I couldn't leave him there, not in good conscience. He literally just feels like an eraser. He's the weirdest little thing, but you know, I love the little guys. Also, I woke up to a bunch of people sharing that they saw a lot of my videos showing up on Facebook pages and forums and things all over the place and I my mind is blown so welcome if you are from any of those pages and thank you to whoever it was that was sharing my content. Uh, <laughs> that's it today guys. I know it's so fast like what what time is it? Hold on. Yeah, it's 6.22 and I'm gonna try and release this by eight. I was hoping seven, but I still gotta edit this. So let me hurry up and go <laughs> and I'm gonna try to get a better video tomorrow. We only have just a few short days into the new year and that is just, that's amazing. Hopefully it's a better year. So let's go for, oh, you guys all had awesome suggestions. I think some of the best suggestions that I got was countdown to the new year. <laughs> you know what? Maybe I should uh, finish my new Gundam. Ooh, it definitely is a part of my backlog buster. Ooh, I should build a new Gundam then for like the new year. <gasps> and it'll be celebrating the high new, which is coming out next year, which, yes, it is high new. <laughs> Thank you as always for watching today, guys. I will see you guys tomorrow for sure. And yeah, have a good night, guys. Bye, I'm gonna go hurry up and edit this like super quickly. All right, bye. I literally got tagged like literally 20 minutes ago by one of my followers on TikTok who's like, by the way, look what I stumbled upon today. And he had a freaking PG Unleashed, are you kidding me? Like how, like literally Zaku Aurelius literally just got his and some random dude has it. Ooh, do any of you guys have it yet? Let me know. Like, is it here yet? Is it here? I wanna know. I wanna know, inquiring minds wanna know. I slept on that PG Zeta too long. <laughs> And I know it's a bad kit. Everyone tells me it's a bad kit, but I don't care. I'm a glutton for punishment. Also, I really need to finish my Exia. I started it on stream. So I got to get back to streaming so that I can finish that Exia. I'm so sorry if this whole video was disjointed. I tried very hard. <laughs>